Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson naman na ito, i-discuss natin how to find the center and radius of a circle given the equation. So kung matatandaan natin, yung uh, last two video lesson natin is about uh, to write the equation of a circle in standard form and in general form. So ito naman, given yung equation, kunin natin yung center and radius. Hindi kagaya dun sa... Uh, sa unang video lesson natin, given yung, uh, given yung center sa radius, tapos kunin natin equation. Kabalik tara naman ngayon. Okay, for example, number one, find the center and the radius of a circle, x squared plus y squared, is equal to 64, and then, draw its graph. So, dito palang class, uh, given na equation natin, x squared plus y squared, alam natin na yung center ng circle natin ay nasa origin. Bakit? x squared plus y squared. Diba ito yung uh, sa unang-unang lesson, video lesson, yung how to write the equation into standard form, na kapag yung center ng circle ay nasa origin, so ito yung magiging formula, no? Okay, ito yung magiging equation natin. x squared plus y squared plus is equal to the given radius. So, dito pa lang alam natin na ang center ng circle natin ay sinasa origin. So, since nasa origin yung circle natin, so we're going to use this. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, alam natin na ang center natin o yung uh, ordered pair ng orig origin natin ay 0, 0. Okay? So, x squared plus y squared is equal to 64. So, ano yung, uh, ang para mas madali class, ang gawin nyo, ano yung square root ni 64? Tapos, squared nyo na lang. Okay, so that is, x squared plus y squared is equal to, so yung square root ni 64 is 8. So, 8 squared kaya 64. Kaya 8 times 8, 64. So, para mas madali, no? Mas madali nyo kunin. So, square root ni 64, that is 8. So, therefore, that is 8 squared. So, masabi natin that the center of the circle is 0, 0, and its radius is 8 units. Okay? So, that will be the center and radius kapag ang equation natin ay x squared plus y squared is equal to 64. So, therefore, kapag rinon natin yung graph nito, okay, yung center ng circle natin ay nasa origin. And then, yung radius natin ay 8 units. So, kapag nagbilang ka, simula dito sa center, papunta dito sa uh, circumference ng circle natin, so, dapat 8 units. So, mula dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, ka, ganun din dito or ganun din dyan. Okay? So, yun yung radius natin. Okay? Yung distance ng line natin from the center of the circle. Okay, how about kapag hindi, uh, how about kapag yung origin na ay yung center ng circle natin ay hindi sa origin, kagaya nito. So, x minus 2 squared plus y minus, minus 4 squared is equal to 25. So, anong gagawin natin kapag ganito ang given? So, since ang circle natin ay wala sa origin, okay, so ga apply natin yung formula na to x minus 8 squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, actually, madali lang kunin yung center nito eh. Bakit? Dito lang yung nakukuha class, ba diba? Yung value ng h and k natin. So, yung value ng h and k, ba diba? Yung center natin is yung value ng h and k. So, ano ba yung value ng h natin sa equation natin? ba diba? So, Since square at uh, 25 to, kunin natin square root ng 25 para mas squared natin. So, that is 5 squared. So, pag ganitong given class, madali lang kunin yung, ano, yung center ng radius, ay yung center ng circle natin. Ito lang yun eh. Ito yung value ng h at ito yung value ng k. So, therefore, uh, that is 2 and 4. Okay? 2 and 4. Pero kapag plus to, kapag positive, ibig sabihin, negative yung ano natin h natin kapag plus to ibig sabi negative yung k natin and then yung radius natin kunin mo lang yung square root nito yun yung radius natin okay so the center of the circle is 2 4 
and its radius is 5 units. So, kapag dinaw natin yung circle niya, so yung center natin ay wala sa origin. So, ito yung origin natin. So, yung center natin na ay makikit, matatagpuan natin sa 2, 4, no? So, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so ito. Dito natin makikita yung center. So, kapag binilang mumula sa center, okay, yung distance ng radius natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 5 units from the center of the circle. Okay, paano kapag ganito? Given yung general form nung uh, yung equation natin is yung general form. So, paano natin makukuha yung center sa kayong radius nito? Okay, so first, apply natin, kailangan gawin nating perfect squared. Okay, pagsamahin muna natin itong x squared, yung same yung uh, variable natin plus. Yung same yung variable pagsamahin natin. So, si x squared minus 6, 6x. So, magkasama sila. Same ng variable, x, no? Tapos, si y squared minus 10y, magkasama rin. And then, si 18, lipat na natin sa left side, as uh, sa right side. Okay? Pang positive 18, so naging negative 18. So, ang goal nating class ay gawin natin silang perfect squared trinomial. So, Paano ba ginagawa yung perfect squared trinomial? So, una, kunin natin, okay, kunin natin yung numerical coefficient sa, ano natin, middle term natin. Okay, itong negative 6x. Okay, yung value ng, di ba sa uh, quadratic, okay, sa quadratic class, ito ay nilet natin as a, b, and c, no? So, kunin natin yung value ng b natin. And that is negative 6. And then, kunin yung 1 half ni negative 6. I-divide natin ito kay 2. So, ganun palagi class. I-divide natin ito kay 2. And then, negative 6 divide 2 is negative 3. And then, yung nakuha natin na quotient from negative 6 divide 2 na negative 3 is squared natin. That is equal to 9. So, ibig sabihin class... Ang idadagdag natin dito para maging perfect squared trinomial is positive 9. Ulitin ko class ha. So, para maging perfect squared trinomial to, ang gawin natin, kunin natin yung value ng b natin. Okay, yung value ng b natin is negative 6. Tapos, divide natin kay 2 or get the 1 half of negative 6. That is negative 3. Then, squared natin si negative 3. The answer is positive 9. So, positive 9 ang idadagdag natin. Okay, so it, tapos na tayo dito. So again, ang idadagdag natin dito is positive 9. Dito naman tayo. So gawin natin perfect squared trinomial. So ano idadagdag natin dito para maging perfect squared trinomial? So kunin ulit natin yung value ng b and that is negative 10. And then uh, negative 10 divide 2 or 1 half of negative 10. The answer is negative 5. Squared natin si negative 5. The answer is 25. So, ibig sabihin class, ang idadagdag natin dito ay 25. So, kapag nag-add tayo dito ng 9 at ng 25, ganun din sa kabilang equation natin. So, kung anong dinagdag natin dito sa kabilang sa left side ng equation natin, idadagdag din natin yan sa right side ng equation natin. So, mag-add din tayo dito ng 9 at ng 25. So, magiging x minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 is equal to negative 18 plus 9 plus 25. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na kailangan din natin magdagdag dito sa right side. Kung anong dinagdag natin sa left side, yun din ang i-add natin dito sa right side. And then, after nito class, gagawin natin silang squared of binomial. Diba, uh, from perfect squared trinomial, gagawin natin squared of binomial. So, paano gagawin squared of binomial? So, yung sagot nyo, pagkuha ng b, then divide that sa 2, yun yung magiging uh, sagot nyo dito. So, x minus 3 squared. Okay, so paano nakuha yung 3? Yan, diba, kanina, nag-divide tayo, sa, uh, dinivide natin itong value ng b natin kay 2. So, kung ano yung sagot doon, yun ang ilalagay nyo dito. 
Okay, kasi pag in-expand nyo to, ang magiging sagot ito, perfect squared trinomial. So, x minus 3 squared plus, dito naman, y minus 5 squared. Okay, tatandaan natin, is equal to negative 18 plus 9 plus 25. And that is 16. So, ngayon, nandito na tayo sa equation ng circle natin. Kukunin na natin yung center sa radius ng circle. So, ano ba yung uh, magiging center ng circle natin? Ito yung magiging H natin at ito yung K natin. So, kitang-kita, that is 3 and 5. And then, kunin natin yung square root ng 16, yun ang value ng radius natin. So, therefore, magiging ano yan, X minus 3 squared plus Y minus 5 squared is equal to 4 squared. So, the center of the circle is 3, 5. And its radius is 4 units. Okay. Another example. So, 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 12x minus 4y minus 90 is equal to 4. So, meron mga uh, numerical coefficient, no? Yung x squared saka y squared natin. At saka kung titignan natin, pwede natin, pwede natin silang i-reduce by... Okay, i-divide natin sa 4 para maging x squared na lang to dito, no? At saka y squared. So, pwede natin sila i-divide sa 4. But before that, lipat nyo muna si negative 90 sa right side natin. So, ito yon 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 12x minus 4y equals 90. Then, divide natin silang lahat sa 4. So, magiging 4x squared divide 4. So, 4x squared divide 4, so x squared na lang. 4y squared divide 4, magiging plus y squared na lang. And 12x divide 4, magiging 3x. Negative 4y divide 4, magiging negative y, is equal to 90 over 4. Kasi hindi sila uh, divisible. Eh, si 90 ay hindi divisible kay 4. So the answer is 90 over 4. And after that, so gagawin natin, yung ginawa natin sa example number 3, Oh, so, dapat example number 4 na pala ito, no? So, pagkatapos nito, gagawin natin yung uh, ginawa natin sa example number 3 na gawing perfect squared trinomial. Okay? So, paano ulit gawing perfect squared trinomial? So, ang gagawin natin, kunin yung value ng b, then divide by 2. Okay? Or 1 half of 3, that is 3 over 2. 3 over 2. Okay? Kapag in-squared natin, that is 9 over 4. Okay? So, dito naman, para maging perfect squared trinomial, so, ang gagawin natin, so, ano yung value ng b natin dito? 1. Okay? Kasi yung numerical coefficient ng y dito, since hindi nyo naman nakik wala kayo nakikita, so, that is 1. So, may 1 yan. So, therefore, 1 half ni negative 1, that is still negative 1, uh, 1 half ni negative 1, that is negative 1 half. And then, squared natin, that is one, ne negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. And negative 2 times negative 2, that is 4. So, that kaya naging 1 fourth. So, therefore, ang idadagdag natin dito is pa 9 over 4. Dito naman, 1 fourth. So, kung dinagdagan natin dito ng 9 over 4, saka 1 fourth, dadagdagan din natin si 90 over 4 ng 9 over 4, saka 1 fourth. Okay, so magiging ganito yung equation natin. So, x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4 plus y squared minus y plus 1 fourth is equal to 90 over 4 plus 9 over 4 plus 1 fourth or 1 over 4. And then, ito pwede natin i-add since similar fraction sila uh, or no, hindi pa sila similar fraction. Since same yung mga nyo denominator natin, madali na lang i-add yung numerator natin. Okay? So, pwede natin i-add yung numerator natin. So, 90 plus 9, that is 99, plus 1, 100. So, 100 divide 4, that is 25. So, dito naman, gagawin natin squared of binomial. So, paano? So, yung sagot natin dito na pag-divide sa 2, yun ang ilalagay nyo para di kayo mahirapan x plus 3 over 2. So, ito yun, di ba? Para di kayo nahihirapan. And then, ah, dapat naka-square. Dapat may squared to class. Okay? So, so magiging ano na to? x plus 3 over 2 squared plus. 
Since dito class negative, so dapat negative din ang gagamitin nyo at dapat y na lang to. So that is y. Okay, so magiging y minus 1 half squared is equal to 25. And after that, so kunin na, makukuha na natin yung center ng circle natin. Kasi kuha na natin yung value ng h natin. At ito naman yung value ng k natin. And then kunin natin yung square root ng 25 para yun yung value ng radius natin. So maging x plus 3 over 2 squared plus y minus 1 half squared is equal to 5 squared. So therefore, the center of the circle is negative 3 over 2. So sabi ko nga sa inyo class kanina, kapag positive yun nandito, so that is negative 3 over 2 yung value ng h natin o yung x coordinate natin. And dito, that is 1 half. So, positive. So, therefore, 1 half. Kapag uh, minus dito ang nakita nyo, and this 1 half. So, that is uh, positive yung value ng k natin. Or yung y coordinate natin. And yung radius natin, square root ng 25. Kaya, nag kaya 5 units. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.